Tompkins Nail Station. Today um, we're doing a She Modern collaboration. Um, there will be myself, Nails by Cami, Just Nailed It, Sharon's Nails and Karina's Nail Designs. We've all been sent various collections from She Modern to review. So I came up with an idea that why don't we each do a different collection for a design as part of a collab. Instead of us all just doing a sheer modern collab and we'd all reach for the holographic litters and then you wouldn't see anything else. I thought let's put the names of the collections in a hat and the name of the people in another hat or bag or whatever and then pair them up. So my pair was the sheer pigments. I only have the normal sheer. The only shimmer sheer that I have is the white so I will use that. Um, so I have the full collection here. Um, I believe Cherie is doing the glow, um, Cami got the regular glitters, Sharon got holographic glitters, Karina is doing the galaxy twinkle and I believe Princess Nails by Diana is joining us but she's doing an older collection using the glow because that's what she had. Um, so yeah, so this one is mine, so this is what they look like as a jelly, just on that, and then that's an idea of what they would look like on a white background. So that's the swatches. We're also going to use a couple of stencils as well. So I've got our stencil number 18, which is the heart, number two, number four, and number five. So I'm, I'm definitely using the hearts and probably this wavy one, and I'm not sure if we're going to use the others, but we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Okay. So I've put that, I've laid down a white base and I've put glue gel on this one, this one and this one for now. Okay, and we're going to work on them one nail at a time. So I'm going to start off with the heart stencil, I think, on this nail. So I've put down a layer of this all over the nail. and gently flatten it out if you get any crinkled sides like this just lift it up slightly and lay it down again and just gently bring it out so that it sticks flat you want everything down as flat as possible but not, don't press it down. Okay, here we are. Okay, right, so now we're just gonna add. Okay, so what we're doing on here quickly is we're adding the sheer pigment onto the nail bed where the stencil and the glue gel is on. And I think I'm gonna use two different colors. So I put the first color on there first, and then I think I use a slightly different color on the other side. So I'm using a brush just to um, make sure all the color goes in between all the images. So I'm just gonna let you watch that. And then just before I remove the stencil, I'll brush all the excess pigment off. So I'm just gonna let you watch that. So what I'm doing here is I'm just burnishing in all the pigment um, and I'm just going to remove the stencil slowly. If you struggle to remove it, just blast it with a hairdryer and that will soften the glue up below it and make it much easier to remove. Okay, so this is a critical part. Um, I'm adding the white sheer pigment over the top of this to fill in the gaps so that when we top coat, you don't get like streaks and smears of the coloured pigment or glitters. Okay, right, here we go. So what I've done is I want to do just a row of these like that 
so I've covered it at the bottom with this one and just tack that there because I want to do them in different colours so we're going to start off with the purple on this one so I'm going to do purple, pink, purple Okay, so what I'm doing here is I've used a couple of the other stencils to block out most of the nail area that I don't want the pigment to go on to. And I'm using the side of the heart stencil to create lines, like a swirly line of hearts going down the nail. Um, and I'm using different colours on each heart that you can see um, on there. So yeah, so that's basically what I'm doing. If you want a full video on this, just comment and let me know. I'm just going to take this up off camera and I'm going to come back. Okay, right. So we've got that like that, and now I think we're just going to use the normal um, white to go through here instead of the pearl, just so I can show you the different things you can do. And then this will just um, fill in the gaps basically and then brush off and we've just got a range of hearts on that and then on here we're going to do some flowers and again we're just going to do different colour flowers so I think we might go for some yellow So again, I'm using different colours on each one of the flowers um, going down the nail and I've decided to not do this on the full nail for some reason. I had a totally different idea. I was going for like a bouquet of flowers, um, but it didn't really work out like that, but it still looked quite cute. So I'm just using all different colours in each one of the holes um, just to give like a more floral, colourful effect. And I'm going to fill in the gaps with the white opal glitter. So you'll see the effect anyway when it comes out. I think I'm just going to pull this off off camera just because you've seen me doing it once and then I'm going to come back. Okay, right, so we're here, so I'm just going to dip. So I'm doing something a little bit different here. I decided to fill in the gaps with the more chunky white opal glitter mix. Um, I'll do a separate video on these, swatching them and stuff like that, but that's what I decided to do. I just wanted to give it a try and see what the effect turned out like. And I must say, they are absolutely gorgeous and definitely worth a look. Okay, right. So I think we're just going to put the sheer um, white all over this because we're going to add some foils. I'm adding some white pearl um, pearl shimmer. It's like the shimmer sheer pigment onto these nails. And I'm going to add some of the grip gel because we're going to be adding some foils to these two nails. So, yeah, so that's all I'm doing. Okay, right. So I'm just going to soak the water up. 
out of these with a tissue. So onto these two nails where I've just added the white pearl shimmer onto, I'm going to add some of these rainbow effect hearts. I think some of them are rainbow effect and some of them are like the blue glitter effect because you can choose two colours. Um, so yeah, so that's what I'm doing. But I think these may be just the rainbow ones. I'm not sure. But anyway, they're definitely rainbow and they may have been some of the blue uh, glitter effect ones. So I'm just adding those onto those two nails on top of the grip gel. Um, and then I'll just add a top coat onto those. So yeah, so just check out what I'm doing. I do make a little bit of a mess of these with the acetone but actually it looked a bit like a really nice bubbled um, off effect so it actually added to it. Inspired manicure that I wanted to do. So I'm just adding some, I think it was the I May Lee top coat onto these nails just to finish them off and then I'm going to come back and you're going to see the finished result in a moment. Okay, so this is the finished nails. So basically this one was the stencil nail with the hearts. This one is a foil art nail. I used a rainbow um, ombre effect foils. This one's a stencil as well. And basically what I did was I used the heart one sort of like that and then I came back down and did some more there and then a few more like that because I wanted it to be kind of like you know, like a flow of hearts coming down the nail. I was thinking maybe I should have done some more there. And then it would have just looked like it was sort of going like that. But hey ho. Some more of the rainbow foils. And then this was kind of like a bouquet of flowers with a bit of glitter thrown in. So yeah. So that's the rainbow ombre ones. I'd used one of each colour that was on there. The pink, purple, the red, yellow, the blue and the green effect ones. So yeah. So that's it. So I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to watch all the other girls designs and videos. The playlist is in the description box and then this is the rainbow effect hearts what I used. I think it's got rainbow and blue hollow. Like the can you see the hollow effect on that? So that's what I used. Um, we also used the glue and group gels. We used a range of stencils. So we used the heart and the flowers one. So we used these two. And we used this one as like a cover up sort of guide one. And I just used my glitter top coat, which is a UR sugar one. So yeah, so that's it. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out all the other designs. None of us knew what we were doing. We just knew that the collection we were using and then everything else was on, was free reign. You could use foils, stencils, whatever you like, as long as we used the collection that we drew. And that's mine. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching again and bye.